Hello and welcome to episode 40 of my Working in Todoist series. This episode I want to take you through uh, uh, my uh, thinking and review, thinking research and review uh, labels. This was a request from one of my viewers called Phoenix Bird and I thought this is a good episode to go through and show you how I'm using this particular label. So let's start with um, well, let's start with the review because I'm there already. So I've got here review exercise goals. Now, the reason I do this is because um, for those of you who regularly exercise like I do, if you follow the same pattern day, week in week out, you you know the whole exercise thing can become incredibly boring. So I like to review my exercise goals about every three months. Uh, to decide whether I want to focus on uh, doing a bit of weight training or whether I want to focus on running. And actually my exercise area of focus, just to point out, uh, I put exercise into my areas of focus uh, because they're not a project but it's something that I do want to uh, focus on because I like to know what I'm doing. So here we have uh, in my areas of focus project I have my exercise uh, project. So let's just go back to the labels here because um, I, okay, let's just go into my exercise project. So I've got two things in my exercise area of focus project here. I've got review exercise goals, which is done every three months. And I've got a thinking um, task here called decide whether to enter Chun Chun Marathon this year. Now, every year I do like to run in one or two races, but uh, not competitively, just take part. And Chun Chun Marathon here in Korea is probably my favourite marathon because of where we run it. It's run outside in the countryside uh, here in Korea and it's run in October. So we're just in the middle of the, the autumn and it's such a beautiful time of the year. The weather is generally fantastic. And so it's a great marathon to run. However, for those of you who've ever run a full course marathon, you know there is a lot of preparation to do, a lot of running to do. And for me here in Korea, that means I'm going to have to do a lot of running through the summer. So it's not actually an easy decision to make. Now, I would need to make a decision on this round about the beginning of June, because then it would give me enough time to prepare for the marathon in October. Now, as you can see, I don't actually have a date set for this yet. So let's put in a date for this. So I don't need to start thinking about this until the beginning of June. And then I'm not going to make a decision on the first day I think about it. This is going to take a few weeks, um, maybe a few Maybe it'll only take me a week. I don't know. So what I would do is I would do uh, every three days from June 1st. And so what you can see here is um, it's, I've got 38 days before I need to start thinking about it. And then it's going to come through every three days. And what I would probably do as well at this point is because this is what I call... Um, a task that's going to be repeating forever if I don't do this, I'm going to put in my label DWD. And DWD for me means, for those of you who've been following this series, it, it means delete when done. And that means that once I've made the decision, I can delete this task. If not, it's just going to go on forever. So um, you can delete tasks, by the way, very simply by just going into the right hand side and just clicking on that. And then you can just move down to delete the task. So that's one of the, there's a really good example of a thinking label. It's something that I need to think about, but right now I don't need to think about it until June. So I'm just going to pass it off until June. So if I go into my um, research uh, label, I've got here, collect the very best British problems for Mr. Beck. Mr. Beck's one of my students. As you can see, this is in my students affairs uh, areas of focus project. And this is just something that I'm going to need to go to the, Twitter feed of um, the um, Very British Problems, which is a Twitter account that I follow. They've got some really funny things about us Brits. We are a, a strange bunch of people and we do have some very, very strange habits. And it's a great one because uh, Mr. Beck, has to deal, who's one of my students, he has to deal with a lot of British um, managers and directors of his company. 
So just for fun, I thought I would put together a collection of these for Mr. Beck. So this is going to take some research because I'm going to need to go onto the internet. I need to find the Very British Problems Twitter feed and then just select a few of their favourite ones and put them down into one sheet of paper. So um, I've set that for the 15th of May, which uh, is coming up. But that's a research task because I need to find the information. Other things that I might put in there is if I'm researching... Uh, actually, one recently a, a, a thing that I might have been researching is whether I should buy the iPad Pro 9.7 inch or the iPhone, iPad Pro, the giant iPad. I cannot remember the size. 12.9 inch, I think it is. Uh, I need to replay, uh, update my iPad this year. Um, I'm just waiting for the iPod, iPad 9.7 to come because I think that's the best size for me. That was a research task because I, I wanted to look at some of the reviews and I actually completed those last night. Finally, let's just move into my thinking label. Now, thinking labels, and I think this is what Phoenix Bird was specifically interested in, is how I'm using this thinking um, uh, label. Now, this is, um, for me, the thinking is, is, they're not tasks that I can actually complete until I make a decision. And so I keep this thinking along here. So you can see that. Think up new ideas for the three Roche lectures this year. I do a, a lecture series with a company called Roche every year. And uh, I like to keep it fresh. So I like to keep some new, fresh ideas coming in. Uh, I've just completed the first lecture. And the next lecture is going to be in July. So I'm again, I've shifted this off until the 2nd of May. So I have a couple of weeks to not even worry about it. But it's going to come up. And it's going to come up. Uh, it's actually this is not a repeating task but I will probably just move that forward if I don't make a decision review systems I review all my monthly systems every three months uh, that includes to do is to how I'm using Evernote and so on that probably is in the wrong label actually that should be moved to review but um, so we can if we just if you've ever find you're in a situation like that it's very easy just to remove it you can just click in there remove Oops. Just remove the label and then I can change that to at review um, and done. So uh, consider doing an ebook and setting up to do this. That actually was an idea that came in to, uh, last week. I just had this idea, I dumped it into my inbox. And then I'm going to put that, uh, I have actually allocated that to consider that next week. I'm in the middle of a writing project right now, but this writing a book, or an ebook on setting up Todoist might be something I'll have a go at during the summer. Again, you saw the decide whether to enter Chinton Marathon. Come up with some ideas for presentation English. Again, this is just uh, for a book that I'm writing at the moment, which is, again, in thinking. It's just to think about. And as you can see, I've got no date on this one, but that's okay because... Uh, I'm going to see this every week when I do my weekly review and uh, it just reminds me, yeah, I'm going to give that some thought. And finally, I've got here, consider putting a few dialogue samples in the language section where necessary. This is again for the book that I'm writing at the moment. Uh, I can just click on that if I need to remember what, ah, yes, this is what this is all about. Uh, so that's very easy to do. So I use my thinking for those tasks that just need a little bit of thought, but there's no real physical action required for them. Pretty useful. And also, you know, if I go out, uh, take my dog for a walk, I had a wonderful Friday afternoon. Uh, I had no work left to do. I'd finished all my work by lunchtime. So in the on Friday afternoon, I took my dog for a walk. And one of the things I did before going out is I actually had to look in my thinking folder because, you know, my dog's not the best conversationalist in the world. Uh, although he does like to talk to me sometimes, I'm sure. I think. Anyway, but this is wonderful. I'm out there in the in the park and I can just think about, oh, yes, uh, let's decide whether I want to come up with um, whether I want to run Chun Chun Marathon this year. Anything like that. I can just decide what I'm going to think about. Really, really useful label to have. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, episode useful. Uh, once again, uh, I hopefully this will answer Phoenix Bird's uh, question. And if you guys have any questions at all about Todoist or how I'm using Todoist, please leave a note in the comments section and I will try and answer your questions for you either through the comments section or I'll do a video on it for you. 
So, until next time, which will be, I guess, episode 41, I hope you all have a very, very productive week, and I will see you next time.